this is a momentous day today that we're very, very excited about because we get to celebrate two things. We get to celebrate getting pornography out of our neighborhood. And we get to bless this land. I stopped short of calling this an exorcism of the dirt, but just barely. <laughs> I went over there this morning, and the deeper they dug, the warmer the ground gets. I'm just saying. <laughs> What's really unique about this is it's one of the few times that I've seen the entire spiritual community come together. And I was sitting here thinking about that night when I came over, somebody, somebody reached out, you know, in, in a dire moment. I was able to come over and pray for them, and I didn't keep track of the person. Uh, he was just desperately calling around and happened to catch our emergency phone. I came to pray with the guy. I remember leaving uh, uh, that parking lot just, you know, Wow, what, what, what other people's lives are just being uh, destroyed daily in their families, uh, you know, from places like this. And so today as I sit here and I see it no longer existing, I see uh, uh, an element in the Bible come out. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. And I know the people at San Joaquin Hospital have been praying for that property for years. And look at now, God remembers. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. A lot of people say, oh, well, you pray to trees or you pray to this or whatever, whatever. But it's not that. We see things in a different light. It's like I was telling my cousin, you know, and I think the, the man earlier said, the ground is hot. Well, the ground is hot because our Mother Earth soaks in all that wickedness. <laughs> Our father, some called Papa, and he's, he's one. How can we want better than another when it's only one? But we have to live, we have to respect everybody. But this is a so wonderful day that Sun Walking Community Hospital broke the barrier, called everybody here, and I request you stand for one minute. So I do prayer the way we do in our uh, read for you some verses from the Quran. I, I think it is the best thing to present for you. Uh, verses from the Quran, the words of God. I will recite them in both Arabic and English. Uh, so listen. <laughs> As I have listened to the previous clergy, I have such a tremendous feeling inside me to realize that although we may be different, there is but one God. Amen. So, going back to my roots, going back to Exodus, Hashem, which means God, said to Moses, make for me a tabernacle. Moses listened, he trembled, and he said back to Hashem, how can man make a house for you? So Hashem's answer to Moses was, not according to my power. Representing not only the Catholic community, but a gentleman whose likeness stands down at the end of the street here, Father Garces. Um, when you drive down, you're going to see a little smile on his face from now on. <laughs> now, there's a few other things he liked to get off the street as well, but uh, at least this is off this street. And may those who heal them know that the Lord is very pleased with them and may he look upon them always with his peace in the Lord's name we pray amen we've come today to celebrate our expanding our services to 
our community. And such an occasion to literally see the destruction of the wildcat.